my third part of Let's Play Diablo 2. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, on the last part, we finished Andariel. On the last part, we finished Andariel, and uh, we could. We started. Wait, on the last part, we finished Andariel, and we had time to start um, the second act. But I completely forgot to show you um, the first video because it uh, didn't appear on the first playthrough uh, on the first part and this is why we I'm going to show you like the sister gentleman and the desert journey because I skipped on the last part I skipped this video because I want you to see the first video and then the second one so let's just watch it together um, it should be smaller size though but I think that's okay by the way, I love this video. So, Marius, at last I find you. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault. Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? I love the story of Diablo, by the way. The Wanderer. Yes. It was... was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the Eastern Gate. Do you want something? Yes, playing Diablo 2. He's gone. He's like. Oh, I fought sleep for days at a time. For when I dreamt, the memories would return. Memories of the monastery and the evil which had claimed it. Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. He's smoking some weird stuff. Had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels? How had he found me here? Look at this broken shell of a man. Barely able to carry the weight of his own sword. Be the burning terror which drove me to hide here. Also, if you think about it, how old this game is, the cinematic is pretty, pretty neat actually for this year. He 
seemed to, to have demons of his own that he struggled to contain. <laughs> This is such a cool part in the video. Damn, I like this. Table flipping. As I watched, I, I became convinced. That I was truly bad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream, or were they born within the wonder? Also, like this first one said, reminds me every time on. Um, Slaughterhouse. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, <laughs> I'd rather stop smoking this stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, the flames aren't like that great. Like, it's almost looking like liquid flame, like this pole. I like how the flames like perish where he will like went in. Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Okay. And there we go, this is actually the first cinematic that I wanted you to show you on the first part, but I somehow forgot about this and I just start, started right away with the game. And now the skipped one, like the last part, ending of the last part, we skipped one because I wanted to show you the first part first. So here's the second one. And then we're going to play. traveled east, over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. Peter! And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel root Looking so peaceful now. With a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage Talrasha. 
You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Tyrael looks so awesome. Yet when their attempts failed, Tarasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. Super cool, actually. Like, now you know what I seek. Monica. Not even selfish. This is my brother. Sleep now. We set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward <laughs> Lut Gulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me. Yeah, the night everything looked so peaceful and uh, day. Well, there we go. Okay, somehow, I don't know why. But the game is always like lagging, as you can see. Okay, and then it just stops randomly. Okay, now let's, we're going to continue with our Necromancer. We're already level 20. And... Um, First, I want to talk to Warif. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to try. No, it's okay. I'm okay. That old desert fox L6 is as crafty as they come. Years back, he made off with a small fortune of my caravan's wares. I certainly never expected to see him so domesticated. You know what? And you know what? I actually want to talk to others first before I talk to Jirshin. Halt. You may not pass. May not pass. Interesting. Ah, you must be one of the new heroes who've come to rid our city of evil. Uh, under any other circumstances, I'd be surprised to see one of your kind in this city. Uh, oh, necromancer. Lately. Oh, never mind all that. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. Let's see. We've all fared well under Jaren's leadership. The town has remained safe throughout this whole mess. And yet the lad still seems very upset about something. Okay, let me just talk to him again. I mean, he welcomed me, so let's just let's just talk to him. Jaren. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Loot Golain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. Yep. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city mm -hmm. is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right no. now. No! But what if I want to talk to you? When you arrived, Warive's caravan had been long overdue. 
With all of the evil that's arisen in the land, I'm surprised he got through. Yeah, Varus is like the uh, true hero. Portrayed in magic and the like, see Drognan or Lysander. Drognan is the wisest man I know, without equal in magic and ancient lore. Poor Lysander is nearly deaf, but he's a reliable potion chemist. For travel back west, see Wariv, whom you already know. Our own Farah is a fine and honest armorer, and she can heal mm, wounds nice. as well. Elzix is the innkeeper, and may also have some items to trade. Graze, the mercenary captain I hired to secure the gates of Loot Golane, keeps order in town as well. There are others here too. I'm sure you'll meet most of them. Just oh, I will. Them. I will, no worries. For trade in that. When you arrive. I will, no worries. Good day. Okay, I still have no quest whatsoever. So let's actually just go in town and just talk to the people. For instance, this Lysander. How do I know I can trust <laughs> you? Hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one for a price. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Potions are delicate mixtures. <laughs> They're just as liable to go off in your face as anything. For real. Oh, also I just realized, let me, wait, can't I like quick buy or something like this? Well, nevertheless, there we go. Uh, selling, selling, selling. I wonder why I just sell now. Not earlier. Well, never the leash. Never the leash. Okay, he has like no nothing to offer. Oh, Para. I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Koras Temple many mm. years ago. Nice, nice, nice. The shrines in the desert are leftover artifacts from the Great Sin War that ravaged these lands almost a thousand years ago. They still function, but most travelers believe them. Only to be remnants of the distant past. Okay, interesting. Blessings to you. What do you have to offer? Nothing of importance for me. Wow, I have so many like crystals and amethysts and stuff like this. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Deckard Kane. Good day. I talked at length with Wariv as we crossed the desert from Kanduras. He has many fascinating tales of the dangers of the desert. His experience may be useful to you. So this means I need to talk to Wariv uh, here and there. Like, actually Wariv even seems like a traveler. That old desert fox El... Okay, so I talked to them. I made sure to talk to Grease now. Grease. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town <laughs> guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has. Oh, interesting. Nice to know. Okay, I can hire defensive, offensive, combat. Okay, whatever this means. Geglash is an imposing warrior, but he's never been able to back down from a fight. One of these days, his pride will be the death of him. Geglash? Who is Geglash? I don't even know who Gyaglash is, but okay. Oh, Dragonan. Dragnon. Dragnon. I've heard that you are responsible for banishing Andariel back to yep. the burning hells. I'm impressed, stranger. <laughs> no, it was uh, rather hard. <laughs> my name is Dragnon, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. Sure. Ask and learn. Elzix is a sly one, I'll give him that. 
Of course, he never tries to cheat me. He knows what my magic skills can do. Okay. Ooh. Nice armor, but I would rather like have something like this. Oh, wait, 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 what? Plus one to summoning skills. Holy shit, but look at the price. 200,000. But yeah, one to summoning skills is like good. Yeah, this is so good. Only like this clay and golem. If this would be like skeletons. There we go, raise skeletons. Bone armor. I could have get so lucky. Okay, this is Atma. And who is in there as well? Greetings. Ah, this is Geglish. I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Gray's seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. And time. now he's drunk. Yes. There are some ancient tombs out there in the desert. You have to go pretty far to find them, though. Rumor has it that they are crawling with walking corpses now. Shit. As if the saber cats and claw vipers weren't saber cats enough. sounds actually pretty pretty cool. Saber cats. Okay, Atma, what do you have to offer? I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would. Be okay. Grateful. In the sewers below our city, here looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and oh. my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor. Just up the street. Well, I mean, you don't really know me, so... Evil has laid siege to Lutga Lane. And you may be... Wow, she person. doesn't even know me and I'm her last hope. The creature makes its lair in the tunnels beneath the city. He butchered my husband and son. I simply cannot bear it. Okay, don't worry, Atma. I will revenge you. I mean, I'm a necromancer. Hey, don't touch my drink, or I'll bore a hole into your skull with my thumb. Mm. There are some ancient. Okay, time to talk to uh, everyone about this sewer thingy. Farah and I have been talking about the creature recently. From my studies, I have deduced that it is Radamant the Fallen, an ancient Haradrim hmm. mummy that has for some reason left his tomb to pray on mortals. I'm doing some more research now. If you check back later, I may have some more insight as to his sure. nature. I will do this. You can bet on it. Because I want to know the story. Who goes there? I've personally found some of that devil's victims washed up out of the sewer. Often they are missing limbs or a head, and their bodies have always been wow. skinned. At first, the creature raided the town at night. That's how Atma lost her family. Now we've got him barricaded in the sewers. You're safe up here on the surface, but every now and again, some fool wants to be a hero and heads down to the waste tunnels with a pig sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Geglash is an impulsive. Funny. Who Greetings. I hear that the creature kills his victims in order to hack off their limbs. I guess that makes me a less likely candidate, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? But yeah, let's just ask around. Maybe they have like some information about him. I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Haradric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert yep. sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. Yeah, who knows why he do this? Welcome to my shop. I hear that beast is after body parts. Does he eat them? Ooh, <laughs> this dude is like, yeah, Lucendro's funny. 
Wait, didn't you want like to Please state your business. go back? Or trade in magic and the like. See oh wait, wait, wait. Or... When you arrive, oh, I can't even talk to him about uh, Radamant. Rather interesting. I've heard tales of walking corpses out in the desert at night, though I've never actually seen one. That Wait, but you saw like in, you saw in the in the, um, uh, in the. She was level two. You saw in the. Oh, I forgot it. Wait. Like in the first act, the Amazon camp. I know it's not Amazon camp, but I like forgot how to call them. Also, yeah, I finished that row. Well, let's go to the, let's go through the trap, to the sewers. Maybe when I come back, they have something else to say. But for now... Oh, I forgot to do something. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I can, I can make at least some skellies. But I forgot to do something super important. As always, I'm going to increase the difficulty. So that I level faster and Actually, I'm not quite sure if there's like Whoa. You saw this? Damn. This was nice. I mean, so does he like, ex he, he exploded like, literally. Damn. Like I think and the farther I go, the stronger my uh, skill, my corpse explosion skill gets. Because the more life they have. Oh, another rune. Interesting. And the ring. Okay, nevertheless, I think it's time now. There we go. Bring some potions. Mm, it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Yeah, let's see, so I just need to get to the sewers too, to the second sewer labor. Yeah, I know my piece does the damage, but I'm not here to do damage. I mean, look at this, it's, it's dealing quite some damage. Wow, they heal actually pretty fast, I just realized. They heal actually pretty fast. Like this is still one of the most important skills. Oh my! Oh, here Corpse Explosion will be super good. Here the corpse explosion is super good. Yeah, every time the enemies are like clustered like this. Mm. It's like music in my ears. 
Yep, this was me. Yep, this was me. Yeah, look at the damage I do. Holy moly. What a combination, I'm telling you. I am telling you, this combo is super good. So many skellies! I actually could have like have more skeletons or at least stronger ones. Without the skill, I, I still think that the skill is like good on later ga like later stages in the game. I don't actually think that it's like good here, but it's not bad either. It's not bad either. But I have to admit, they're probably... I could have probably waited and like, get my skellies up first. The only problem with the skill is the radius. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't have, get any mana potions, I just realized. Oh, there is... Some serious business down there. Know that bodies that I can like kill up there. I'm not even sure if this is like really the way to go. But I guess so. Also, he's giving like a lot of experience. Oh, there is another mana potion I see. There we go. Oh, the skill shrine. The skill shrine is very, very nice to build up a skeleton army. Six and four. So actually, I need to get six and four. Let's actually get them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two. Three, four. Okay, there we go. Because like I told you before, like this skill, this one, is like, um, every time you summon something, it stays the same. Also I think this absorption as well. Which means now that we have like our skeleton army ready, and even the strong ones, I feel now we can like search for, oh there we go, a waypoint. Interesting, you know what? We're actually going back. Because I wonder if they have like something new to say. There's nothing to write. I've traded my potions to Wari many times. Yes, they seem to fetch a good price in the Western Land. Probably. Huh? Peppermint? Oh, Radiman. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, uh, Peppermint? 
Some of my exploding potions should do quite nicely against him. <laughs> they usually work well against the Hyper Element? Oh, Red Element. <laughs> okay, he's actually rather fun. Okay, there we go. Let me just talk to the Kirkay first again. Stay a while. And Stay listen. a while and listen. Mischief is an interesting man. Part of him longs for the freedom of the open seas. Yet his heart belongs. Oh, sure, I forgot to talk to him. The Herodric mummies were created to protect the tombs, but Rodiment is far from his burial chamber. Given the aberrations that have been witnessed lately, it comes as no surprise that even the ancient guardian spells have begun to unravel. Be wary of this as you venture farther into the desert. I will. I will. Don't worry. Good day. Good day. I have something to sell for you. Mmm, poison. Ooh, actually, cold versus 17. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't need the tech rating. Ooh, better chance of getting magical items. I like this. I like this a lot. Tech rating, light radius, defense, light radius. Hmm. El Rune. Okay, let's continue with the diamonds. Yes, I know I don't have so much space, but actually I have like for now enough money. Floris may not remember me, but I helped him out when I was a young paladin. There's no need for me to remind him. The rewards for honor will not come in this life. Drogdon told me something interesting earlier today. It might explain why Rodiment is so restless, and it might have something to do with why he is stealing human Okay, I will go, uh, talk to Drogdon, no worries. But first I actually wanted to talk to Mishif. I think we now missed. Greetings. I'm Mishif, captain of this mm, ship here. One dialogue. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Okay. I've been all around the seas in these parts. It's dangerous sailing west this time of year, though. Until the season changes, the caravan through the desert is the main trade route to Westmarch. I noticed a rotting human arm floating in the harbor ah. this morning. I suspected foul play. So I told Grays. He didn't seem too concerned since there haven't been any folk reported missing lately. So why is it so? I know, Atma, it's There's no trouble a mug can't cure. Mashif seldom patronizes my establishment. I think he prefers to stay out there on his leaky ship. Aww. I am starting to have second thoughts about my request. I couldn't bear the thought of you losing your life on my behalf. Please be Don't careful. worry, I will I will be fine. Good day. Have you found those big sand maggots yet? Arrows and all that don't work so well against them. Best thing is just to hack him with a sword. Hack him with a sword. Okay, interesting. Aha! Back for a small shot <laughs> of courage. Believe me, it doesn't help the lung. <laughs> Drinks, barkeep! So it seems like he's, he tried it, but he failed. Allow me to invite Yes. When the recent troubles began, Lord Jaron came seeking my counsel. I advised him to close the port and put the town under strict watch. Lately, though, he's been occupied within the palace. I doubt his whores could divert him from his civic duties for this long, though. Oui, 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 oui. I've just been reading something interesting about this sort of undead. Apparently, certain Herodric funereal priests altered the bodies of their dead mages with magical and surgical techniques, often replacing body parts with those hmm. of animals. 
This was thought to augment their powers and raise their status in the afterlife. Okay, this sounds actually super weird. Like, why would you do this? Hello. Hey. I haven't talked much to Farah. She keeps to herself most of the time. I get the feeling that she doesn't like us mercenary types much. Hmm. We've been meaning to send an organized group down there to kill that thing, but it would be dangerous. We just can't afford the chance of losing any men with all the trouble that's going on in the desert. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I will do this, no worry. What you need? That Lysander's a grumpy <laughs> old cuss. He is. You'd better not disturb him while he's working on his potions or... Boom! <laughs> you could get blasted to the moon! If you're going to fight that thing, use some common sense. Be knowledgeable about what harms the undead. Poison, for instance, will have little effect. But what if you go for poison? What if you go for a poison build? I've traded my potions to Warif many times. <laughs> Wait, I already talked to you. I huh? have yeah, pepper. Oh, redmond. Yeah, the peppermint redmond. Yeah, can I at least talk to him? You may not pass. I may not pass, but my skeleton does. <laughs> Do it does I don't know. May not pass. Okay, Baruf, you're pretty wise, yes. right? There used to be a lot of brothels here. I guess the trouble scared all the women away, or maybe they're safe <laughs> in Jared's Safe. House. Okay. Death is not afraid of the living, but the living abhor death. It would be rather interesting if death would be afraid of the living, if you, know, if you think about this. Well, let's actually go down again and let's try to face the, the boss and then maybe head back. Maybe they like have something to say, something different. Probably Mashif. Mashif has probably something to say, something different. I mean, it's not like we want to catch like every single voice line in the game, which, to be honest, we actually does do a little bit. Like, I wouldn't mind, but I'm pretty sure we already like missed a few here and there. Yeah, the only problem with the skill is uh, the radius. I think it's much smaller than you think it is. Oh well, I mean look at this. Yeah, this didn't affect him at all. It's like only in this small radius. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful, but it's probably worth it. It is probably worth it. Okay, let's try. By the way, I like this skill. Wait, so this is 2.6 radius. So it's like the same radius. Interesting, okay, let's see. So it's actually, is not that bad, to be honest. Yeah, it's actually it's not that bad. Now that I think about this, the radius. But it's also because it's two points. No, it's only one point. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And yeah, the main damage, like source of damage, comes from here. Comes from amplified damage and corpse explosion. I mean, no, to be honest, my skeletons do quite some job. Large X. Yeah, it's actually not bad.
There we go. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, a jubble is good. Wait, what is this? Kill Radaman. Okay, before we kill him, let's actually head back. Woo! Hello. Hey. I noticed a rotting human up. Atma serves a fine ale in her establishment. Does she? Why do you stay at the harbor then? Good day. I am starting to have second. Dragnan is a very private person. He's always studying ancient scrolls and such. He may be a mystery to me forever. Well, it's not so bad, right? Hello. There. Jaren's been acting strange lately. I can't imagine why he recalled the town guards into the palace. If there's something wrong in there, I hope he doesn't expect me to handle it. I hope no one expects you to do something. Uh -huh. I think no one expects you to handle anything. Okay, maybe Drognon has something good to say. Today. When the recent troubles began, Lord Jaren came seeking my counsel. Wait, he already told me this. So I need to be careful. You need some help? A sheaf has sailed all around the southern seas and visited many strange lands. Oh, it must be driving him mad having to stay anchored. I think it does actually. We've been meaning to send. I think it does actually. Okay, we almost finished talking. Hello. There are many ancient tombs in the desert. Most of them are already plundered, but I imagine that some have remained. Oh, so a lot of uh, a lot of stuff is in there. A lot of treasury. Maybe the one piece. La 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 la. Good day. Good day. Jaren has his father's strength and wits. He's young, but he rules this place with wisdom and care. I think he'll grow into a fine sultan, provided we all survive this. Oh, place. don't worry, we all will. Death is not. And if not, well, I'm a necromancer. <laughs> Hello. Oh, young Jaren used to purchase minor love potions for <laughs> me, hoping to win the favors of the hell Lord. girls. <laughs> yeah, but now that the girls have taken up residence in the palace, she doesn't come around here anymore. <laughs> well, well, I've always said alchemy is no substitute for experience. Huh? Yeah, this is like the, the 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 best line ever. Peppermint? Huh? Peppermint? Oh, red oh peppermint? Oh, peppermint. Oh boy. Okay, let's talk to Kane. Good day. Ugh. Ugh. It is an honor to see Yikes. Stuff that I don't need. Atma is a good loving woman, but I fear she will succumb to her despair and hatred. Don't worry, she won't. Drogdon told me. I already rolled for this. Elzix is quite a scoundrel, but I like him all the same. Okay, then let's go further and kill now Peppermint. Uh, Redamint. Yeah, this exploding corpses are now super beneficial. And also my golem, holy moly, he soaks up so much damage. There we go, let me summon another one. Undead extra fast. Look how fast he's falling. Dead. The undead, the dead undead. I like the steam of life coming downwards. Sacred globe. Woo! This is going to be worth a lot. What a waste of undead flesh. <laughs> I like the necromancer. 
The necromancer is precise as always. Ooh. For Redrick's scroll, show the scroll of Cain, Luke Glam. And now it's time to return to Atma. Okay, let's do this. Okay, do you have something to say? Good to see you. Good job, mate. At night out on my ship, I was often awakened by that fiend's awful moaning. I'll bet I rest easier now. Yeah, I bet you do. Warreev is a good friend. We've shared many tales, he and I. If we had it all to do over again, I believe we'd both be explorers of some renown. Probably. Of some big renown. Hello. Hey. Have you found those yes. big sand? Whoa, whoa. Radamant the Fallen, is <laughs> it? I've fallen off many a bar stool, and no one calls me Geglash the Fallen. They might go so far as to say, Geglash, <laughs> you've fallen. <laughs> okay, this, this, this guy. Oh my. Hello. From what you tell me, it would seem that Rodamant was bent on the task of reviving his own mummified corpse with the flesh. Okay, of then good that I stopped him. This is very unusual indeed. It takes an incredible magic power to alter the singular purpose of an undead mind. Perhaps there is a power at work here, which is beyond my care. Probably. When the recent troubles began, Lord Jaron came seeking my... Okay, so I don't need to gossip them now, because they're like, it seems like they Good evening. tell the same now. I might spare oh. you a few of my men. <laughs> Why, enough gold can muster an army. Okay, he's gossiping something else. You've killed Rodham yeah. today. That's quite a nice piece yep. of work. If you ever need a job as a mercenary, I'd be happy to sign you up. A necromancer mercenary. Hmm. Sounds reasonable. Good evening. You know, I've lost a number of body parts over the years. An eye here, a leg there. Say, do you know any spells that grow them back for me? On second thought, I'll, I'll leave well enough alone. Now, uh, this dude. We ran into one of those old tomb guardians when I ran with my bandits. I know they aren't easy foes to face, so you sure have my respect. Have you told No, no, I didn't. Uh, I was about to tell her, but first I thought I would like tell with Kalash. You may not pass. You say the same thing to me every time. Hello. Good evening. There used to be a lot of brothels here. I guess. Okay, Varuk has not, not nothing to say. I wonder if I should talk to Kane first. Nothing. The right portion can't cure. Uh, little of what I am able to hear is of any value. Radaman's death, <laughs> however, is news worth hearing. I'm sure Atma will be glad. I just wonder. Maybe I should have talked to Kane first. There are some ancient enchanted fountains in the desert that can heal your wounds. If you drink enough. Yeah, I should have talked to uh, Kane first because I need to talk to everyone again. The shrines because in the of Cain. are leftover artifacts from the Great Sin War that ravaged these lands almost a thousand years ago. They still function, but most travelers believe them only to be remnants of the distant okay. past. As you have helped Atma and all of us, so shall I help yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim. I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes mm -hmm. it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece. 
hiding them separately to safeguard hmm. them. The Horodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like Yay. you. Collect both parts of a Horodric staff and unite them using a Horodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rasha's burial chamber. Okay, and where do I find these things? If you haven't already, tell Atma that Rodament is dead. It may help to ease the weight of her mind. It probably will. It probably will. Okay, search the house of the dead under the dry house of the cube. Search the megalay on the furrows of the shaft and a claw viper on the headpiece. Okay, first the halls of the dead under the dry hills. Stay a while and listen. Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. Wait, I already did. talk to you about this. Whoop. Uh, okay, let me just sell you. Ooh, poison damage. I don't know why it's worth so much, but this is like worth 2300. Nice. Meow. 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 Okay, guys, I'll be right back. My cat makes weird sounds. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my cat. I well, outside it's like raining outside right now, and uh, she's like, get back, and she's like, first meow meow meow. I don't know why, but we're back again. We're back again, and uh, wait, where did I end it? I think I wanted to talk to Atma. Yeah, there we go. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at yes. low rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Hmm, interesting. They say that the t Okay, what about the horror dream thing? No trouble a mug can't cure. Whoa, whoa. Have you found those Okay, what about gossip? Oh, Lysander is cranky, but he's a good old man. He used to give me medicines when my son was ill. Oh boy. Okay, we completed one quest. But as we just Figured out there is someone who wants to talk with us, and I'm going to like actually not increase this. Okay, there is something going on. Sorry, guys, I need to check this.
Okay, and I'm back again. Yeah, I don't know, but my cat keeps getting afraid of something and hides below the sofa. But when I stand up, there is like nothing. I assume there is like an other cat outside because... Uh, I don't know. Well, never mind. Um, oh, you don't see me. Now you see me. Uh, we're going with uh, Skeleton Mastery. More life to skeletons. Yeah, more life to skeletons. There's like only 9 life. This is... Which is not so much life, but the damage is good. Yeah, the damage is good. 24, 26. 28, 29. That's good. This is rather good. Wait, no one has. From what you tell me, when the reason. No one has something to tell about uh, the horrific stuff. Come on, like no one. There are some ancient enchanted fountains in. Oh boy. Who would have thought? But didn't Gerald wanted to talk to me? Oh, there he is. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to. Yeah, sure. Drognan and I have concluded that the dark wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo <gasps> himself. Dun, dun, dun. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horadric mage Tal Rasha keeps Bale who in prison. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Tal Rasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. Okay, I will do. Can I not talk to you? Mashif is an honorable man, but I fear that he is growing impatient with me about impounding his ship. I dare not tell him what's really happening in this city. What is happening in this city? Portrayed in magic and the like. You may not pass. Wait, I still may not pass? Come on. I got the last quest. Find Tal Rasha. Be very careful, my friend. I think I've seen enough recently not to doubt that these tombs exist. And if they do, they are most certainly guarded by terrible Terrible, creatures. terrible creatures. There used to be a lot of brothels here. Terrible they... creatures. Atma's been telling everyone what you've done mm, for Nice. Her. There used to be a lot of... Yeah, it's good. So my reputation is going through the roof. Through the roof. When Tal Rasha chose to embody the spirit of Bale, he knew his doom was to wrestle eternally against the will of the greater evil. Look around you and ask yourself, has the battle been won or lost? Hmm. There are some ancient... Interesting thoughts. Diablo nears his goal. We have little time to lose. Remember, my friend, that Andariel gave herself willingly to Diablo's cause. It would be prudent to assume that the other evils will attempt to aid their master as well. Most probably. Diablo, if you haven't already. Ah. Wait, what? Ah. What a fortune turn of events. Gossip? Nope. Legend has it that Tal Rasha lies imprisoned within his tomb, forever struggling to keep the Lord of Destruction bound. His was a selfless act, although perhaps foolhardy. Yeah, see? Selfless. Yo, Atma. I want to... There we go. I'd go with you to those tombs, but um, duh, I don't like all that living dead. And why would you go with me? I'm a necromancer. Have you found those big? They say that the taste of. I've heard legends of the tomb of Tal Rasha, but I thought they were just old tales meant to scare young children. 
Well, well, you see what's below the city? You should believe some things. War Eve is a good friend. Good job, mate. I'm sorry, I can't help you much here. Now, if the tombs were across the ocean, then I'd be the guy <laughs> to talk to. Across the ocean. Would be actually a pretty nice idea. Tombs across the ocean. Okay, only two people that I didn't talk to yet. Talrasha's tomb is hidden deep in the desert among six others. Talrasha's symbol marks the true tomb. If you want to know what that symbol is, you should be able to find it within the legendary arcane sanctuary. Interesting. When the recent troubles began, Lord Jaren, from what you tell, find Talrasha's tomb. Don't worry, I will do. If you're going into the deep desert. Why not hire a few of my men to watch your back? A few? Can I hire like four or five? Or six or seven? So, you're going to search for the seven tombs, huh? Don't you know that they're just desert legends? Passed between merchants and travelers? No one really believes that they exist. Well, actually there are some that believes. Like Dragon... Just Dragoron? No, wait. What was his name yes. again? Portrayed in magic. It is well known that there are seven great horizons. So here is well known. The sands in the furthest reaches of the desert. One of them surely must be Talrasha's prison. You must explore each of the tombs to find Talrasha's exact location. Of course, Diablo is searching for the tomb as well. No one can guess as to what terrors he has unleashed in his search. Mashif is an So the thing is he said this is well known and the other said, "Oh, this is just there's just things that uh, people made up and stuff like this. So what should I believe now? Okay, we're now at the rocky waste. I need to... Under the dry hills. Okay, I need to find the dry hills. So where are the dry hills? I absolutely don't like these enemies at all. Like at all. Wait, already the dry hills? Lul. Should I explore? Let me explore first. I don't know, I don't want to like rush it through. I actually want to explore. Maybe I should have explored in the beginning, like, everything. Since the map and the single player is, like, the same. Oh, look at this. I leveled up again. Again. Yeah, let me make my skeleton even stronger. 29, there we go, 31, 32, and then 5 of them, seems pretty neat, what level am I, 21, 24, maybe I should like put one, one point in this one, Like, getting at least, like, some sort of, uh... Nice. The good thing about um, the corpse explosion is it's dealing so much damage that it's probably like cursing through them. Oh nice. A nice rune there I have. Ok, 
Okay. And look at this. It was worth going back because we found the stony tomb. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go in the stony tomb. And this is why you want to actually explore everything. Or at least I, because I want the story. You can also, like... Say that... I'm actually doing almost a 100% run. Oh, I heard something. Nice. I heard something. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this tube. They're like so... They're so tight, actually. So tight together. Oh, look at this. Already got... To the second layer. Yep. Let's explore the second layer as well. I could have also just explored absolutely every part of the map. But then I need to go back to the first act. And also you want to proc every urn. Oh my. I like the part where they're exploding bodies now, because look how much damage it does. Look how much damage it actually did. This was not bad. I can't carry anymore. This was not bad whatsoever. Mm. Money and mana potions. I mean, what else can you ask for? Oh, small charm. There we go. Almost over oversaw this small charm. Wow, I have a lot of mana potions. I need to use one or a few. So let's actually go ham with this corpse explosions. Probably worth it. Okay, just one needs to die. There we go, and then the others will fall. Oh, nice, more charm. No, you're not. No, you're not. I mean, I already found the treasure. I could, like, go back. Because actually, like, exploring everything seems a little too much, doesn't it? charm now okay let's see let's put a mana potion and set up this lesser one mm, 
And it was a large drum, okay. Oh, da, 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 da. Soon I don't like need this one. Healing 80 and this one's healing 160. Oh, this is a lot actually. And the jewel now. Oh my. My oh my. Finding good stuff in here. But we managed to clear this. So this means all I have to do, since I need to go in the direction back of town. I might consider doing this. There we go, but the first route was the right one. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, look at this. A grand charm now. Yeah, I think I have to go back now. Even though I tried to delay this. As much as possible, I don't know why. Good evening. There you go. Greetings, my friend. Have you spoken to Jaren yes. yet? He's quite a remarkable leader for being such a young man. Then again, the old blood has always run strong in this land. Ah, the lost. You already told me about this? Diablo nears his goal. We have little time to lose. Rem okay, if we have little time to lose. Legend has it that Tal Rasha lies imprisoned within his tomb, forever struggling to keep the Lord of Destruction. Okay. When the three evils were bound ages ago, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, was moved to Kurast and bound by the holiest of magics. Hatred. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Dexterity defense gone. Lightning resist stay. Lightning damage gone. Attack rating is not gold for monsters gone. Straight attack rating gone. Poison resist gone. Oh my! Hello. I never patronized the brothels, mind you, but uh, uh, since those ladies took up hiding in the palace, uh, uh, there certainly has been less scenery to feast my eyes on. <laughs> this dude. When Tal Rasha chose to embody the spirit of Baal, he knew his doom was to wrestle eternally. Oh boy. So the gossip that they like tell. Yes, citizen. Citizen? Ah. Elzix is quite a character. I had a few run-ins with his band of outlaws in my younger years. <laughs> now he's as settled as the dunes out there. The Desert Rain Inn is his pride and joy these days. Yeah, I mean, why not? Having an inn these days? Hello. Gaglash is a fool who would fight his own shadow if he could. Fighting's all he ever thinks about. Not really. He just, I think, drink is what he's thinking about. Greetings. The woman Atma may have some useful gossip for you. She can always be found near her public Oh, house. good to know. You may not pass. It is well known that there... So Atma is good for gossip. Well then, let's speak to Atma after I spoke to Varuk. Your presence honored that old... Okay, I already got this. Okay, Mishif and then Atma and then the man who's like fighting his own shadow. A man does like to fight his own shadow. Ahoy, Ahoy mate. Gray seems to be a dependable fellow. I hope he can handle it if those things in the desert decide to attack. Yeah, us. probably. I'm sorry, I can't help you much here. Okay, well, Atma, you have some gossip to tell. 
Tell me your troubles. Geglash may seem like a sot, but he's a brave man. All this trouble has driven him to drinking more than his usual. Yeah, Geglash for real? Huh? Jaren's been acting strange lately. I can't imagine why he recalled the town guards into the palace. Gary. Oh, I'd go with you to... Jaren's okay, so they don't say anything new. I've heard legends of the tomb of Talrock. There is nothing new to it. Um, do I even want to go? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I just wonder, do I even want to go to the stony tomb? And then I'm like, actually, why not? Like, more loot. Good loot. More loot. Good loot. Damage pillum. Meh. Meh. I don't need any damage pillum. Okay, so I'm using this this spell like quite a lot, like this amplified damage. I have to admit that I don't use exploding corpses at the full potential. Like now it seems like it's actually super good. Yeah, look my skeleton. Bam. Bam. One more hit. Nice. Yo, I just want to see his damage and then he just... He just died. What is a smoke sphere? Ooh, static field. Nice. Probably a lot... Probably it's worth a lot. Most probably. I don't need any keys whatsoever. But at least I found a new tomb. Somehow this corpse explosion doesn't seem to make... Oh, a zombie head. Clay Golem Dim Vision, but... Sexual themes. It actually seems like it gives like uh... It seems like it's worth a lot. Storm Eye. Dead eye. There are a lot of super monsters in here, I just realized. But nevertheless, if you think about us, one, two, three, four, five, six skills, skill points that are not such on skeletons. Hmm. I still think this is like a lot of damage. I really hope I get like I find like more items that gives me like necromancer skills. Because increasing that radius Probably not be bad whatsoever.
probably wouldn't be bad whatsoever. Superior light build. I mean, I don't need to explore everything, like every single spot. But it just happens... It just happens that I would like to actually... To wander here around. Bam. Yeah, this was good. This was most probably good. So many diamonds. So many diamonds. Let's head back to Loot Colleen. I think I need to start to sell them. Good day. Oh, three thousand, two thousand. Man, I have to skill. This is actually pretty neat. But yeah, I'm running out of space. I am running out of space. I am running out of space to find another place. Okay, now all I can do is like let the corpses explode. And hope that it deals some damage. Okay, you know what? Let me actually go further more. I don't think I can like level up much in here. In this wasteland's a anyway. And before I find myself in the position of throwing away stuff that I actually would like to keep. Okay, there we go, chest. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to go back. So what I need to do is search the house of the under the dry house. So this is the dry house. Here I need to find the house of the dead. Oh look at this! I leveled up. I should get another mastery. There we go, nine. And then I'm going to get another mage skeleton. Yeah, this is still so good. Amplify damage. Wait, I'm level, what level am I? 22. Maybe I should like go for 23, 24. I need this. Duration 4 seconds, it should not much. 12 seconds, 11 seconds, 4 seconds. But the radius is like 4 yards, it's actually pretty good. And it weakens the slow, weak, and amplify damage. So it's amplify, weaken, and slow them. The crapify. Okay, so I see Amplify, I see we uh, Weekend, but where is like Slow? Is there like Slow anywhere here? 
Not really right now. Not really, unfortunately. Okay, I need to find the holes of the dead. They need to be here somewhere. The holes of the dead. Nice. And nice again. Finding good runes. Defense missiles. Ooh. Good against undead. I mean, I am undead. Yeah, most definitely I should go the next level on weekend. Weekend, then I go for summoning Iron Golem. Oh, when I need summon resist, actually. So maybe next level I will spare the point and just go on this one, on this two things. Because right here, I think it's actually pretty good having resist, especially to um, Yeah, it's, it's pretty good to have resist here. Different requirements. Um, especially since like there is a lot of thunder and bolt in this game. Yeah, maybe I misskilled a little bit. I should have gone with uh, the curses. Until the Crepify. Yeah, Corpse Explosion is actually something that I really didn't need at all. Maybe it's... no, I, I think it was fine. And yeah, look at this, increasing from 2, 9 yards. The only problem is like my weapon, right? Not this one. There we go, plus 1, amplified dodge. I need to find another preserve hat that is like better. I will, most definitely. The only problem is like this, plus 1 summoning kill skills and then like this golems. Damn. Oh, there we go, the host of the dead. It's actually what I searched for. There we go, hollow one. Oh, a grand charm. A grand charm, very, very interesting. Hello. Okay. Let's There's nothing go. to say. Cold damage, attack rigging requirements. Some runes. That may actually take fire with me. Or diamonds. Like diamonds in the sky. I have a lot of amethyst and a lot of diamonds. And you, if you're asking why do you keep this, you will see pretty soon. Greetings. Oh, Lysander is cranky. I already had this conversation. Oh boy. Okay, here I most definitely need exploding corpses. 
Yeah, I think here exploding corpses are actually super good. I actually really think that exploding corpses were super good in here. They dealt a lot of damage. They probably dealt a ton of damage actually, to be honest. Because they're like all were clanked together. Hmm, I need some mana potions soon. Same goes here. Yep, I really think now I finally, finally found where my like exploding corpses are actually useful. Mana potion, mana potion. A wand. Always checking out this one. Plus three skeleton mastery. Oh boy. Oh. This is actually pretty good, but this is like much better. Oh man. Yeah, let's see if we can like sell this for a lot of money. A lot of monies. Oh, I see. They're like. Yeah, let's just go ham. Let's actually just go ham on these corpses. Mind I the dead. And again, yeah, I think in this clutch situations, exploding corpses are actually pretty, pretty nuts. I think exploding corpse in this situation is pretty good. Yeah, the only problem is the radius. I think I need to put some points later on in them. Maybe. Maybe not. Follow one. It's bleach! I knew it! It is pretty... Exploding corpses in this is pretty amazing. Ooh, I know I repeat myself, but it's it's the true. I'm overburdened. You're overburdened. Well, let's see what this ring has to offer. Why do we I even bother? Oh, another ring. It's amazing how bad it is.
I just don't quite sure like I mean Yes, it's like the, the damage is there, but don't I like run out of skeletons like later on in the game? If I use corpse explosion every time. Although it's dealing a lot of damage. Dealing quite some damage. Oh, mana potion. Yeah, let's just curse him. Let's just curse him. Oh, look at this. Look what I found. Away path. Not even found them in the dry hills, but I don't even need anything here. I need to finish my quest. Finish thy quest, young boy. Yeah, like in this clanky hallways, exploring forces is like literally one of the best skills you can like ask for. So many good items that I actually would like to like take with me. Okay, this thing I need to check. This thing I need to check, Ray Skeletons. I already have a better one. Oh, the third level, interesting. We're going deeper and deeper. We're going deeper and deeper into the halls of the dead. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is the skill that I most, most use. Like, I'm spamming amplify damage. And then exploding corpses because the combo is like so good. The combo is so good. Don't have enough mana all of the time. Wow, this sacrifice is taking a lot of damage. Wow, look at this. Mommy sarcophagus. I didn't check how much, how many experience it gave me. But I believe it's not nothing. Yeah, exploding corpses everywhere. Amazing. Actually, I was wrong. I love this skill. 
Maybe I was too early and like in Act 1 you don't really need this, but here you definitely want the skill. Exploding corpses. Let all these corpses explode. And I was wrong. Wrong way. Three ways that I can go. The first one was wrong. Large urn, at least, at least some gold. At least some gold lies in them. Yeah, run into the poison cloud. Super smart idea. The smartest idea you ever had. Or I ever had, actually. It was my idea. Bam. Bam. Like, look at this. This hallway. Just getting a few exploding corpses out if I manage to kill someone. Yeah, look at this. I just kill like four or five people instantly. Well, the last emerald. Now I really, really hope I find what I'm searching for. Now I really, really hope I find what I search for. Okay, let's see the experience. 919,804. It's like 2,000, almost 2,000 experience for one of these circle frogs. Let's see if this is a lot or not. Yeah, this is a lot. Holy shit, look at this. They're only giving like 14 or 15 or stuff like this. He gives me 700 and the circle frog is 2,000. 2,000 is a lot. It seems like I found it. Not yet. Oh, but there is someone who is this mold post to destroy her. So how do you like exploding corpses? Mold pulse. Oh nice, mana, mana. Grand chapter. Okay, this should be the room. Oh shit. No nice mana. I think actually this is me who uh, dealt so much damage right now. Oh, this is the room. Okay, I found. I found that room. And I mean, of course, I'm like... Doing what I can like do the best. And it is 
open up the chest and find the Haredra cube. Okay, so we found one of them, and the thing is, now I can like, for instance, three of this diamonds in there and make a floor diamond out of chip diamonds and out of three floor diamonds I can make a diamond so now you know why I like kept all this stuff oh whoops I mean, look at this. It's like this is double, not maybe even better. Okay, chipped, 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 gold, chipped, gold, gold, gold. Small charm, always good. And this is why. We go and head towards Loth Golay now. There's no trouble a mug can't kill. Evil has laid siege to Loth Golay, and you may be our last hope. I've heard legends. Okay, don't worry. Day. I have it in the bag. Have you found those? I have this in the bag. Hi. Hello. Warif may not remember me, but I help. Go. You have quite a treasure there in that Horodric cube. According to Horodric lore, the cube can restore a Horodric Ooh. staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it. And use the cube's transmute okay. power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed long sword. <laughs> you may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. Yeah, later on. First of all, identify this. You have quite... There is something about Farah that troubles me. Her manner is strange for a lonely desert maid. Who wonder why it is so... Warif may not remember. Okay, the thing is, now that I have the cube... Okay, one, two, and now look at the space we get, three, oops, now look at this, instead of three to four fire, it's now eight to twelve, this is pretty neat, okay, so we have fire here, let, let me put the runes on the bottom here, The runes on the bottom, and then let's say here are the reds. Here comes the skulls. The skulls are pretty good actually. Lifestone, mana stone, regenerate mana. This is something that I need. Regenerating mana. Okay, the skulls on the second. Now it's time for freezing. Sapphire. So it's one three three five four seven. The thing is cold damage. Like cold damage is always like not that great. Like poison damage was always super high. Poison damage was also all was always super high. I remember. 
And the lightning damage like the maximum. The max damage. It's always once. 1, 2, there's 8, and 14. 22. I mean, we went to 22 and this is like 2020. This is where poison is actually super amazing. Poison. I mean, look at this. I almost got two full amethysts. Ah, and now I have space. See? Easy. Easy. I actually even think that this is it for me. But before we go out. So we kill like everything and everyone that we want and need. Hello. Now we're going to like buy some potions. There we go. And now we actually yeah I need to find the waypoint anyway on the dry house so this is why we actually go into the catacombs now the second and uh, we're actually going to face a Daryl once again because I'm not quite sure why like the second time she gave us like bad loot that's why now I hope for a little bit better loot now but who knows if we will get it I still can only like summon few skeletons but they're now stronger Ooh. And I mean the experience they give is actually not bad at all let's see wait I can't quite keep up but it seems like they're giving me more experience than oh maybe because they're like Yeah, it's probably because they were together with this monster. Yeah, I can't imagine them giving like so much more experience than the others. Actually, they do give more experience than the summoning guys. Oh my, I wonder why. I wonder why, but it do give more experience. Also, hello guys, how are you doing? Oh, amulet, mana potion, oh, chipped ruby, nice. Yeah, this, this small guy probably don't give a, a lot. Mm, it's okay. Maybe because there are like so many of the zombies in the catacombs. Maybe this is the reason. Wow, another chip sepia. So it was already worth it going down here. Hmm, telekinesis. Who knows? Maybe it's worth something. Maybe it's worth something. Well, let's go. And Daryl, wait. Can I kill him? 58,000 I was like, wait, who is reviving them?
Yeah, I'm probably going to need the corpses for my skeletons. So unless Andaro just walks straight on top of the corpses. Wow, another chop. Look at this. Three of them already. Oh, this is bad. They're like... They're spread. I mean, if it's if, if they're on top of her, I can like try to use them. Oh, whoops! This was the wrong spell. Actually, she's not that s as strong as she was. I mean, obviously, I get stronger, but wait, what? Not even a yellow item? Nothing? Ignore that stuff. Hmm. Meh. Yeah, this was not quite what I expected, but nevertheless. Greetings. Long ago, Diablo and his brothers were cast out of hell by the lesser evils. It seems that Hell's balance has shifted, as Andariel is now aligned with the Lord of Terror. Her presence here in the mortal realm does not bode well for us. Wait, isn't Andariel not dead? You have quite a treasure there. Uh, welcome back, my friend. Rip Geed is a wandering merchant of questionable character who is traveling along with my caravan to the east. And they say hello back. Oh hi there. It's good to see you again. Hey, nice armor. <laughs> hey, nice armor. Well, thank you. I'm just here to sell some stuff. Nothing special. Strength I don't need. Strength I don't need. Poisoning mana I don't need. There we go. Nothing of importance. Oh, but now I can like. Do stuff like this. There we go. Okay, I think this is it. Let me just talk to Git again. Good to see you again. Since the rogues have been moving back into their monastery, they haven't been buying anything from me. Aww. Poor, poor Git. They don't have to buy anything from you. Hello again, Outlander. Word of your great exploits in the East has reached us even here. Mm, nice. What has Akara to say? Welcome back, my friend. We're still clearing the monastery, but you're welcome to stay here as long as you need. Okay, thank you. Kasha has always been fierce. Okay, I already talked. Yeah, so they don't have like any gossip to tell me. Yeah, so this means I can like let travel to east again. Good day. Okay, this is it guys. Um This is it for this part. So we found our horror dream cube, which is super ultra neat actually. Now let's go with the rarity. So fire is 5, 7, 6 is better than 5, 5, 3, 4, 3. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, young Jaren used to purchase minor love potions for me. I was hoping to win the favors of the house. Okay, I already read through this. So yeah, guys, this is it for today thanks for tuning in thanks for watching i really appreciate us we got a horror dream um, cube we uh, finished radaman's uh, peppermint's radaman's slayer 
and we got the seven tone quest. So next time we actually need to go outside and then try to find the dry hill and find their uh, waypoint. But we will do this on the next part. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye bye. And as always, stay fucking awesome. It was a pleasure to stream for you. As always, I will upload this up onto YouTube. My YouTube channel down below in the description.